finally, learning diaries. Now, I've only used this twice. One occasion it worked really well. Second time it was a bit of a, bit of a disappointment. This is a bit like uh, the successful thing I was mentioning this morning. This is about getting beneficiaries to record in real time their experiences of the intervention. Does avoid memory decay and last event bias because you're recording it in real time, so the diary is being written as things are happening. Does require discipline on the part of participants to fill in the diary. You do need a recording interval that makes sense to recognise what's happening in the intervention, so a learning diary every day is just stupid, a learning diary every year. Essentially six methods there that I would routinely use and blend together when I was pitching to do an evaluation for you when my competitors would be pitching to do an evaluation for you. Yep. And what you're looking for, either you as evaluators or using people like me as evaluators, is that you're getting a program of work to progress the impact evaluation that is combining coverage, you want to get as much width as you can, with as much depth as you can, with as much expert perception as you can, not costing you an arm and a leg. Yeah? Okay? And that sort of balancing quality and width of techniques with price is really quite an important one to... Uh,